If you'd like to look for courses using more specific criteria, then use advanced search. Using advanced search, you see the same criteria that you saw in basic search, but also here's a list of advanced search criteria. For example, you can choose courses by the number of credits you would earn in the course. Right now it's set to anything between one credit and 12 credits, but suppose you were looking for a course that offered, was offered at three credits. In that case, you would change the number of credits in these boxes, setting both of them to three so that you saw courses that had three credits. If you do that and then click search, you can see it brings up a list of courses where each one has three credits in the credit column. Another method of searching is by delivery. That means the format of the instruction. Here you can choose all online. Another one you might be interested in is linked courses. Some courses at Whatcom are linked into pairs of courses you have to take at the same time. For example, if you're interested in all hybrid courses, choose hybrid and then click search. Here you can see courses with HY section codes. These are all hybrid courses and since they are taught partly in the classroom and partly online, they have days and times that they meet. It's possible to select courses by the person teaching them if there's an instructor that you are especially fond of. And you can also choose courses by the days and times that they meet if your schedule only allows you to uh, come to campus at certain times. For example, if you're only available on Tuesdays and Thursdays to take courses, open the Days Offered menu, choose Tuesday, Thursday, click Search, and you can see that all of the days and times are Tuesday and Thursday days and times. You can also choose by the time of day that you're available. Suppose that you wanted courses that were in the morning only. You would use the ends between menu because you're looking for courses that end between say 8 a.m. and noon. So for the beginning box of ends between, you would choose the earliest time on the, on the list. But for the second box, you would choose the last time that you would be able to stay to on campus, say noon. Then when you click search, you get courses that happen in the morning. And you can see that of, in this list, there's nothing that ends after 1120. You would use a similar process if you were going to look for courses in the evening, but you would use starts between instead of ends between since you're looking for courses that start between the earliest time you can be on campus and the latest time of the evening. So you would choose the time that you can come to campus. Say you could be on campus at 4.30, for example. And then for the other term, you would just choose the latest one that's in the list here. Click Search. And now you're looking at a list of courses that are offered in the evening. It's possible to combine search criteria as well. Suppose that you wanted to look for humanities classes using the designator menu, but you only wanted humanities classes that meet on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you can choose two uh, criteria. That gives you a much shorter list. Here are humanities classes that meet on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you're
you're looking for classes about a certain subject and you can think of a keyword that might bring up a variety of courses, for example, you put in environmental to see what courses might be about environmental topics, then your search brings up courses that are in biology, um, early childhood education, economics, English, environmental science, and so forth. There's one other thing you should know about, and that is that if you don't put any search criteria in, but you're in advanced search, click search, it brings up the whole schedule, all the courses that are being offered. With advanced search, just like with basic search, if you find a course you're interested in, click details to see more information about the course. Here you see the title, the section code, the time of day, the location, how many seats are available, how many people are on the wait list, the course description, and information about, or in this case, a link to information at the bookstore. So that's all it takes. Good luck finding the courses you need, and have a great quarter.